it's not me, I'm a ghost in the sheets. Well, is there something that you like? Well, this is the last place I'd expect to find you. Go away, Chuck. I've been given orders practically from God himself to avoid you. Would you consider avoiding me over breakfast? Sorry, but as is tradition, on the day before my birthday, I'm heading to the jewelers to put some pieces on hold for Eleanor and... Nate? Oh, I don't think we'll be singing happy birthday this year. No one knows that Nate and I broke up, and it's going to stay that way so I can fix this. And I don't think your best friend would still be your best friend if he knew. If he knew how much I enjoyed the removal of a certain chastity belt in the back of this very limo. From this moment forward, the events of last night will never be mentioned again. Is that clear? Not as clear as the memory of you purring in my ear, which I have been replaying over and over. Well, erase the tape. Because as far as I'm concerned, it never happened. I'll see you at your party tonight. You're officially uninvited. Never stopped me before. Speak of the devil and he doth appear, wearing his trademark scarf. Careful be, hell hath no fury like a Chuck Bass scorned. <laughs> oh, there's Chuck. I bet he knows where Nate is. I think Nate probably just snuck in while we were dancing. Chuck! You ready for your present? Ow! If you wanted to play rough, all you had to do was ask. Taylor. Hi. Hello there. Happy birthday to me. <sighs> Nauseate me. All this talk about how you have to be with Nate or the world will end. Face it. It's over. You sound like a jealous boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, right. You wish. No, you wish. Please, I forget who you're talking to. So do you. Do you like me? Define like. Uh, uh, you've got to be kidding. I do not believe this. How do you think I feel? I haven't slept. I feel sick, like there's something in my stomach fluttering. Butterflies? Oh, no, 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 this is not happening. I believe no one is more surprised or ashamed than I am. Chuck, you know that I adore all of God's creatures and the metaphors that they inspire, but these butterflies have got to be murdered. Fine. It wasn't that great anyway. Thanks. Stalk me much? What are you still doing up here all alone? I don't know where Nate is, and he always calls me at midnight when it turns into my birthday. Well, I wouldn't count on it tonight. Doesn't it strike you as uh, just a little bit of coincidence, the timing of everything? What do you mean? Well, Nate suddenly decides he wants to get back together just moments after your mother puts the brakes on her deal with the captain. So. You're saying that Nate is only pretending to like me and that he's actually using me to get to my mother. He wouldn't do that. Yes, he would. If it was to help his family, you know he would. Nate loves me. Whatever he's doing, wherever he is, he will call at midnight. You'll see. Care to make a wager? If he calls, I'll leave you alone forever. If he doesn't, you spend the night with me. I will not. I thought you were sure. You're gonna lose. He's never missed my birthday. Careful, B. There's no safe wager when you bet on a bass. You just might lose your shirt and your pants. Oh, you so tall. It's like 12 01. I'm sorry. No, you're smarmy. There's a difference. If you're coming to collect, you can forget it. Turn around. You get grosser by the second. You get older. Look. Happy birthday! Oh my God, how's your candles? Yeah. Make a wish, Blue. It already didn't come true. Happy birthday to who? Forget cake and ice cream. I'm saving room for just desserts. Looks like Chuck's wish might come true. Oh my god. You 
know what? Maybe she's wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. I can't believe gossip Blair, Pale, I'm so sorry. I never would have thought that this would happen. I hope this luck gave him herpes. A cheater totally deserves herpes. He isn't cheating. We broke up, okay? He was gonna get back together with me, but only so my mom would help his dad. You satisfied? I'm not in the mood, Chuck. It's pretty much the worst birthday ever. Maybe it could be salvaged. Is that our sex tape? It's the Erickson Beeman necklace. No, I couldn't. Yes, you can. Something this beautiful deserves to be seen on someone worthy of its beauty. I really am sorry. Older, but not necessarily wiser. Guess Chuck's the gift that keeps on giving. Blow out your candles, B. This will be better in the dark. XOXO, Gossip Girl.